I'm often asked if I use nonstick pans coated with uh, polytetrafluoroethylene, that's Teflon, uh, given the controversy swirling around uh, polyfluoroalkyl substances, PFAS, as they are abbreviated. Well, I do, because if there's a risk, I think it is minute, especially compared with other risks in our life. The worry is not about Teflon itself, which is an inert, safe material. The concern is about chemicals used in the manufacturing process, residues of which may be found in the finished product, as well as about decomposition products that may form when Teflon is heated to a high temperature. The deposition of Teflon on a surface, such as a pan, requires the use of an emulsifier, a substance that allows oily materials to mix with water. The classic emulsifier used in nonstick pan production used to be perfluorooctanoic acid, or PFOA, which performed well but turned out to have unacceptable toxicity. Higher body levels were found to be associated with elevated cholesterol, changes in liver function, reduced immune response, thyroid disease, and increased kidney and testicular cancer. Consequently, PFOA was phased out and replaced with smaller fluorinated compounds in the GenX family that in studies proved to be less toxic. Still, these are not beyond reproach because they do show up in water systems near Teflon producing plants and may be producing effects of their own. The other concern is that when Teflon is heated to very high temperatures, it can break down and produce a variety of PFAS, including the notorious PFOA. A recent Consumers Union study looked for the presence of PFAS in Teflon uh, by scraping some off from a pan, grinding it up, and subjecting it to a test. A number of uh, PFASs were detected, including PFOA, but this does not reflect realistic cooking conditions. I'm not aware of any study that has shown higher levels of PFAS in food cooked in Teflon pans or higher blood levels in people who eat such food. The unfortunate fact is that all our food and water will have traces of PFAS because of the ubiquity of these compounds thanks to their widespread use in food packaging and cosmetics, stain-free fabrics, waterproof clothing, and firefighting foam. Any PFAS released from cookware would be an insignificant addition to our overall exposure to these substances. While I do not see a problem with cooking in a Teflon pan, there is an issue with the manufacture of such items. It is during production that chemicals used can find their way into the environment and from there into our bodies. It is in this roundabout way that Teflon pans can have an effect on our health. In any case, for anyone who's concerned, they are ceramic coated, enamel coated, stainless steel, and uh, cast iron seasoned pans with excellent nonstick qualities available. These, like Teflon, keep food from burning, which is a good thing since burned food contains a variety of carcinogens. Finally, Let's mention that frying itself creates a number of nasty compounds that are a bigger concern than the traces of fluorinated compounds that may leach out from a Teflon surface. And that for today is our Kappa Joe.